We certainly focus on personalized medicine, and that personalized meaning how the patient handles drugs, personalized how that cancer behaves in that particular patient. My name is Joan Mortimer, and I'm the director of the Women's Cancers Program at City of Hope. The area that I spend a great deal of my time in is being able to predict which patients will benefit from what particular therapy. Chemists at City of Hope developed a PET imaging agent that's used in HER2 positive breast cancer, a particular subset of breast cancer. And what this imaging agent allows us to do is to understand if that patient's cancer needs the HER2 to grow and will treatment against that HER2 protein be effective. We have, you know, tests that allow us to predict who's going to benefit from chemo and who's not going to benefit from chemo so that we don't treat everybody the same way. Everybody's an individual, their cancer's an individual. The changes I've seen in 30 years of doing this have been really enormous. Women used to have mastectomies and there wouldn't be reconstruction afterwards. Now our surgeons and plastic surgeons do combined procedures so that when the patient comes out of the operating room, you can't actually tell that they've had any surgery. Another huge area of advance is really in predicting who is going to get breast cancer. And for those women who are at increased risk, we tend to monitor them more closely because if they are going to get breast cancer, let's just find it when it's so tiny that there's no major treatment involved with it. It's certainly exciting to see us be able to keep women alive a lot longer and with a higher quality of life. That's a pretty hard thing not to be incredibly proud about.